2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Well, the Lions offense going back to work. And Detroit 3-12 and 1 last year. Of course, a lot of that due to Matthew Stafford missing the back half of the season. But now this is now year three of the Matt Patricia era. And he's 9-22 and 1 so far. So the, the Patriot way does not seem to have caught on at least to this point. What do you see for them in 2020? Well, they've got to get the defense figured out first and foremost because they're allowed four big yards a game. Second worst in the NFL, and they were the worst against the pass. And you and I both know it's a passing league. So they drafted Jeff Okuda out of Ohio State, the number three overall pick at corner. That will help them. Offensively, we know they can be really good. Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones outside, TJ Hawkinson in his second year at tight end. And now they've got to see if the rookie running back, DeAndre Swift, can really elevate the running game and help out quarterback Matthew Stafford. Well, those guys and others hoping to stop that drought. They have not won a playoff game in 28 years. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, he's going to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second game. Options galore here, second and a few inches. And off comes to Peterson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Stafford delivers this to Hawkinson. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And a nice gain of 21 yards. It's funny, partner. You often hear how tough it is for a rookie receiver to adjust to the NFL. I think the same is true for tight ends. You're asking them to do a lot in the NFL game with the additional blocking that many of them didn't have to do in college. And T.J. Hawkinson, he was the number eight overall pick in 2019 and had a good rookie season with 32 catches. I expect that number to go way up as he gets more comfortable with the NFL game. A nice catch right there for a first down. completion so that sets up second and six they'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift and able to get him down but he does reach the five that gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep first and goal They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, OK, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Stopped short of the goal line. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. Second and goal from the one. Here's Stafford. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Danny Amendola, that was the intended target, but now it's third and goal. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll run it with Johnson, and he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. take it right down and score on the opening drive. They gotta love that. Nine play drive 
results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Turning it. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Texans offense heading out and big changes in Houston this year. Of course, DeAndre Hopkins out, David Johnson in. And this is a team that won the AFC South, won a playoff game against Buffalo. And look for a while like they might win another against Kansas City, but not meant to be. But uh, Charles, what chances do you give this Texans team of capturing another division title? I give them a good chance. And I know that DeAndre Hopkins leaving cast a pall on that city and how people look at the roster. But this is a good football team. Remember, David Johnson has a chance to really jump his play up again, but they also signed Randall Cobb to catch passes as well, and Deshaun Watson is still their quarterback. Oh, and by the way, J.J. Watt, if they get a full season out of him, the defense is automatically improved. Now, the problem's going to be the first seven games of the season. Kansas City, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Minnesota, Jacksonville, Tennessee, and, of course, the Green Bay Packers. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was looking down at the schedule as you started to talk. That is a brutal stretch. I guess we'll know after about week seven where they stand. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The first down carry here for Johnson. They'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Tackle made at the 30. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. On second down. It's Johnson, and this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Brought down at the 39 yard Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. From the gun on third, Watson has knocked away and incomplete with a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. From the gun, here's Watson. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. They'll try the air now with Watson. And this one grabbed by Darren Fowles. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, 
that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good, that middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right, probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well, <laughs> and he's got it. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A shotgun snap for Watson. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. It's third down and seven yards to go. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Out of the gun, Watson. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 13. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. They tried to throw on second down. Unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Back to throw. Stafford. And he will not be able through the contact it's incomplete the coverage strong and now it's fourth down and this is what you want to see from a defense give up an opening drive touchdown that's fine but how about them going back out there recommitting themselves to the task at hand and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense on is the punt team now as this one sent away so possession goes over here on the punt, and the Texans will take over with a first and ten. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the inning, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once it threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does him no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. First down. There's a good reception there by Will Fuller. And if you're looking for breakout players in 2020, he's a big-time candidate for it because he has a rapport with Deshaun Watson. And now with DeAndre Hopkins no longer in Houston, he could be their top receiver. On first down. It's Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And down right around the 37. He's a big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. Good carry and pick up for a first down there by David Johnson, and he has a chance to fill a lot of voids for this Houston Texans team. They lost their 1,000-yard rusher from last year. Carlos Hyde went to Seattle. But back in 2016, David Johnson led the NFL in all-purpose yards with the Arizona Cardinals. The Texans will be happy to see that guy all year long. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Pressure too strong, down he goes. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. Another former New England Patriot reunited with a former Patriot coach, Matt Patricia. Of course, the head coach of the Detroit Lions. There's a sack by Jamie Collins. He's come up a career high for sacks. Had seven last year with the New England Patriots. But what I think is best about his game and what really fits what Detroit's looking for, his versatility. 
They'll use him all over the field, both in pass coverage and rushing the passer, hoping to create more big plays, as we just saw there. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. 52-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. These kickers now used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now, seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz, draw play is supposed to work very well. You're supposed to have them bypass the runner, and he slips past them. But they put their eyes in the right place, took away all the creases, and slowed him down in a big way. He takes this for three to the 29. Ray Swift, the ball carrier. Brennan Scarlett brought him down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and eight. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Got a man, it's Amendola. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. From the 50, Stafford. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. That was J.J. Watt getting in there and getting him to the ground. And there's a familiar sight, J.J. Watt with the sack, and he's absolutely a force of nature when he's on the field. Unfortunately, he's only played more than eight games once in the last four seasons, but when he plays full-time, he ends up being in the running every time for NFL Defensive Player of the Year, an award he's won three times in the past. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Lions on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and 19. complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. 
Here's Jack Fox now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. as they take over. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. The Texans on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, Watson. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. So out now come the Lions. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. On second and 11 now. Stafford. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Well, there was a 42, making a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. Houston set to take over. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Watson now. Operating from the gun. He's got four. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. 
And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brings up second. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Good catch there by Randall Cobb. We know him as a longtime Packer who spent last season in Dallas. Now he brings his veteran presence to Houston where he can help the young quarterback, Deshaun Watson, continue to develop. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Watson to give. This is Johnson. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A seven-yard carry. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Operating from the gun, Watson. It's complete to Fuller. And he gets it down to the 32. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. First down, Houston. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. going to set him back five yards. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, Watson. And the catch made by Johnson. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. A hole to dig out of here. Second and 17. Operating from the gun. Watson. And that is incomplete here. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. It's third down. The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 17. Watson looks to throw again. And the throw there going to be incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. To throw is Stanford. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First and In addition to his really good hands, Marvin Jones makes big plays downfield. Ended up missing the last month of the 2019 season. Still had 62 catches for nearly 800 yards. And even more importantly, nine touchdown catches included in that number. When Marvin Jones goes downfield for a pass, oftentimes he finds his way into the end zone. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. On second down, Swift. 
And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Ball carrier. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The Lions on third down. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Now it's Stafford. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Stafford to his second-year tight end, Hawkinson, for a Lion first down. Yard line. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick load completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first and ten, it's Swift. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 44, Stafford, the slant to Jones. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 31-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. That'll bring up second down. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. to throw again. Stafford going right back to Jones. This time the connection made. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Again, it's Stafford. And he's going over the catch. He's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 17-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Stafford. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Stafford. Jones has it. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. down completion got him seven now here's third and three throwing again at Stafford Blanket yeah, coverage yeah, by yeah, Houston yeah, makes it fourth down so two third down conversions on this drive but not able to get a third and now they deal with fourth down they really had a good drive going there but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what i think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here here we go on fourth stafford and he takes this one in for the lions touchdown it's kenny galladay hauling 
Rolling it in from Matthew Stafford. And the Lions add on to their lead. It's one thing to be known as a guy who can make big time plays downfield and gain almost 20 yards per catch. But how about the guy who knows how to put the ball in the end zone as well? And that's Kenny Galladay. He's an absolute threat every time the ball goes in his area. Led the NFL with 11 touchdown catches last year. Kenny Galladay is a guy that I'm glad that I never had to try and cover when I was trying to be a defensive back. across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Now well, the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And now out comes Houston. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. From the gun, Watson. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That'll go as a pickup of eight. And there's a good catch by David Johnson. Good enough for a first down. And remember, come out of the University of Northern Iowa, he had played receiver his first couple of years in college before shifting to running back. Used to seeing the ball in the air. And when he's on his game, he's an excellent pass receiver. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Watson. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after, and it's third and short. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Again, it's Watson. Finding fouls complete. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. 
Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Houston set to take over. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. We'll see what they have up their sleeve. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage should be found. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now it's Watson. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play on third down for the Texans. 44 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, Maybe they'll inspire their defense as well. They'll get a few stops. And that'll set them back five. on this series after the delay of game first and 15 now Watson he's got his tight end it's fouls seven yards the pickup on the pitch and catch when you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one second and eight coming up From the gun, here's Watson. Caught by Cobb. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And the Texans. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of six there on first. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And fights through one man. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. A shotgun snap for Watson. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. At their own 20 yard After the interception, here's Stafford. This complete to Jones. 
And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First and ten. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. He gets it quickly to Galladay. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Terrific catch and a big chunk of yardage gained by Kenny Galladay, and that's exactly what he does. That's why he's so dangerous downfield. Highest average yards per reception among NFC receivers in 2019 to over 18 yards per catch. He has the length and really has a nose for the football, especially when they put the ball in the air and he goes up and gets it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. the 40-yard line. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Jimmy. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Second and 11 at the 41. Out of the gun, Watson. He gets it to Cooks. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 yards on the play, first down. Catch there by Brandon Cooks. And it's hard to believe that he's on his fourth team in five years because he's produced everywhere that he's been. Houston hoping to see the Brandon Cooks that they saw in New Orleans, in New England, and in Los Angeles. 2019, though, was his first year under 1,000 yards since 2014. He's looking for a bounce back. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Operating from the gun, Watson. And that's complete to Cooks. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. First down, Houston. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run on first down. Johnson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Caught left side by Cobb. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. First and Texans passing game in rhythm right now. Picking up another first. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. The punching it in from a yard away. And the Texans draw a bit closer. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front giving him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Now the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? Here's Watson from the downhill throw. And this one is caught. So they come up with a two-point conversion, and that makes this a one-point game now.
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And Detroit getting set to go now. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 23. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to AP out of the backfield. And that'll bring up second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So second and 10 now here in the third quarter from Detroit. To throw again, Stafford. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks, but it doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there, and there we saw completion. Adrian Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On second and nine, Stafford. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. And after an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing a Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there and a line first down. First, that's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second down and eight. Just beating the play clock, Stafford. take over first and 10 at the 49 yard line there's Johnson he's been busy this afternoon and down to the 44 five yards that time David Johnson the ball ran at five yards on that run let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage and they did for a significant chunk of yardage From the 44, Watson, they'll buy some time right. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Texans on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This time they face a third and two. He gets this one to Johnson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 17 on the pickup there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. 
Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. A place like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Nine good yards here on the run, and now third down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There's pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. To return, here's Agnew. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Well, the bad news, they had the turnover last time. The good news, their defense only surrendered three. So now we are set up for a great finish, all tied here in the fourth. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. He'll have a first down past the 40, and he's going to get this to the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. First, that was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. The tackle Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It's only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The Lions on third down, five out of nine thus far. This will be third and six. Out of the gun, Stafford able to get away. that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs blanketed everyone took away all the passing angles thus the incompletion 
Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football, because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The throw over the middle, taken in, and they're able to bring him down at the 20. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 16 yards on that one and also a Texan first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. He may try and run for this. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. From the gun, Watson, open man, the tight end fouls. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. On first down, it's Watson. He's got the first down inside the 10. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. David Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans have taken the lead. Uh, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. But now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead.
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. To return, here's Agnew. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Detroit's offense ready to take over. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And they get him down, but back before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. From the gun, here's Stafford. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Eric Murray that time there to knock it away. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing again. Stafford. And it's caught here. Evan Doyle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. It leads to second. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. It's caught. Jones. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 30. The Lions' passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Jones has it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. From the red zone now, Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards, the pick up there. Brings up second and three at the 9-yard line. Second and three from the 9. Throwing again at Stafford. And they get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow.
couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tumult. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Now it's Watson. It's complete to Fuller. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Watson. He's got Fuller. Oh, now he's strapped. He lost the football. And the Lions have recovered. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Now Watson. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. to back good plays have them on the move on first down here's a 20th carry for Johnson the Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two From the 25, here's second and six. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. that he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now a handoff, Johnson. And that's a touchdown as they broke in our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win.
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. To return, here's Agnew. And they were laying him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So Stafford and the Lions now. Down 28-21. A little over 20 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. to throw out to the left there and complete to the tight end Hawkinson and he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there five yards on the catch there brings up second down and five at the 32 yard line game they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end but they couldn't get it done however we were treated to really a spectacular affair even though they didn't finish it off you're exactly right they took us down to the last play we're still you're wondering could it happen possibly even though we both knew it was a long shot That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.